Look out for the crazies, because nowadays they're everywhere. Even on the internet. Actually, especially on the internet. Mainly on the internet. You, you find a few of them wandering the streets, but you can find all of them on the interwebs. Cool, eh? If you like craziness, this is the place to be. You watched movies uh, between, like, I don't know, from present day to 50 years ago. You always know how a lot of movies have, like, that one crazy guy, or a movie with Alien will have that one guy, I was abducted, and he's, like, sitting at the other side of the bar, and he's old, and he's like, and they probed me. Oh, the days, and everyone's like, drunk old guy, and nobody listened to him, he's crazy. And then aliens show up, and they're all like, oh, the old guy was right, and he's like, I was right. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've been basically taught over time to consider people that think differently, think of out of the world kind of scenarios like uh, con conspiracy theories, New World Order theories, aliens, uh, friggin' Planet X, the sun will implode and destroy us all, it's like our moon's actually uh, hollow and built by aliens, all this other crazy shit, there's an inner earth, all this other stuff. We've been told and taught and bred to think that things like that are crazy, don't listen to them, bad, bad for your mind, it's like, that's poisoning your mind, that's insanity. You don't want to be caught talking to a crazy person because you'll be labeled as crazy. Well, why? Why is it that that's how our society works? That people who think outside the box are labeled as something they're not as crazy or mentally unstable and then just brushed aside in society? I personally don't agree with that, but I think there's a very good reason why that is. Now consider, say if you were one of the most powerful people in the world and you had a plan for 30 years in the future and you had the top scientists, top astronomers, astrologies, whatever the fuck, and all that, working with you, and they said, okay, so based on the theory, uh, a certain theory, that we've deduced that when we look at all of these stars, we take all of them, we take the information we see from them, and we can compile what will potentially happen in the future. The Mayans did it, however long the Mayans ago were uh, around, they did it, and then we can still do it now. Hard determinism, I think is actually what the theory is called. If you know all of the stars in the universe, you can map out what's going to happen. And that is linked to a series of events that lead to whatever. So basically, like, there's no free will and whatnot. Anyway, so they have all this information that can, they can somewhat predict the future and what's going to happen. Because they're we're rather intelligent human beings. We can, we can do a lot when we put our mind to it. And we can even see the future, not through uh, psychics or spiritual forces, but basically through science and using the brain that we were given or created, whatever. So using this, they've seen what's the future and they prepare for it. And the thing is, with if you're a rich, wealthy man and you have all this power, you're not preparing to save other people usually. You're preparing to save yourself, your loved ones, your closest, your business compatriots, compadres, all that stuff. You're not going to save the millions, the masses, the human race. So that is basically where the groups like oh, the Illuminati stem from or the elitists of the world and all this stuff. These, these people don't want you to know what their plans are. And years ago, they made sure people would not cons even consider the idea by labeling anybody that did as insane or crazy. They taught this to us in school, they showed us this in movies and TVs and everything, and then in society, the people that was crazy was like blacklisted and told to get the hell out of here. Those people were shunned. Because they could very well unravel what's going to come. Maybe. You know, I'm not crazy. I like to think outside the box. Personally, I get really bored with reality. Like, you go to work, you get paid, you pay bills, you go to work, you get paid, you eat, you pay more bills. Like, that's life. Yeah, life can be exciting and sure and stuff if you have the ability to go out, travel the world, or go do creative things. But the thing is, it's like, it's 2011, I'm stuck here. I'm gonna live in a small town. My future, I have, is very unclear. Alright, I don't know if I have a future, I don't know if I'm gonna live for a few more years. I really don't know. Do I put money in savings? Do I invest in something? Do I, do, what do I do? Do I put myself in debt thousands of dollars to go to school? But how do I go to school when I'm also working? It's basically, I'm, I'm screwed unless some mass change happens. And that's why, uh, I lost my train of thought. Mass change. Da, 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 da. Nope. Thought's gone. I totally lost it. Anyway, back to the crazy people. They could potentially unravel the future, right? I'm not crazy. No, 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 no. I think, right, because I get bored with reality, because reality basically sucks, it, or it can suck, and the way the world is, is reality is pretty shitty right now, okay, so it's nice to think about other things, and then you start thinking about other things, and they lead to potential future possibilities, and then that's where we end up with things like the new world order, because of the way the world's heading, and things like that, and you're like, oh, is that even possible? Well, yes, yes, it, it very much so is possible, and crazy people, crazy people knew it for a long time, 
They knew this shit was happening. There was books, movies, but people were like, blah, crazy. Nonsense. Nonsense, don't watch that. And so, the crazy people are now kind of becoming the same people. And all you people that were like, nonsense, I'll work with my schooling and consider that nothing is ever happening because ignorance is bliss. You are now the insane ones. We are the normal ones. And you see how that happened? Yeah, nice little changer. Nonsense. This whole video is just crazy. I lost my thought a few times. Anyway, the crazies, they're everywhere. And you're probably one of them.